The older you get, the more you understand things. And through learning the old pieces, I understand forgotten things and great values that are hidden in those past things that could be reused for the future. My name is Axel Ververt. I started very young with this passion of living with beautiful things and loving art and lovely objects. I think I was very small, seven, eight, nine already, when I started collecting little stones and little objects I found. When you're very young and you start collecting rocks, it's because you just like it. You don't even realize why you like it. But I personally think it's rediscovering yourself in it. My wife and I, we have very much the same taste. You see in his eyes the way he reacts, that he likes it. And when he does not like something, I know immediately. I always like to mix antique art and contemporary art, discovering what was timeless, what was universal. And I think this dialogue between old and new has been a very important theme in my life. And also in restoring old buildings, like this old castle. We fell totally in love with this fantastic castle, which is very, very old. It already was existed before 1108. I think living with art is not like going to visit a museum. It's a different feeling, it's a different thing. I think you live with art like you have friends in your home. At the end, you almost start resembling them. So it's very important that the art you live with is something that's a little part of yourself, or you can learn from it. They're, they're like your teachers. A house, I think for me, everything should be right. And you can have many rooms, but in every room should be a different atmosphere. But I think a house should be very welcoming, very lived in. It's the only way I think you can live with all the pieces and the art surrounded by nice things. It gives you a good energy every day. I could not live in a very minimal house. I like minimalistic, but then with earth and with uh, beautiful natural wood and not too sharp corners where you hurt yourself. You will see this Wabi room. It's a concept I made together with a Japanese friend and architect, Tatsuo Miki, about all this concept of the beauty of the imperfection, the beauty of humble things, things that are related to earth, and I think it's this beauty of that you respect nature as it is and try to find the humbleness. If I, I would never put flowers like that, I look for flowers or branches that look down, that are humble, that are bowing for somebody. I think it's nature is our boss. We have to be servants of nature, not the rulers of nature. I love that things age. It's not like a lot of contemporary things. When they're scratched, you can buy it for half the price because it's scratched. But I think when it's scratched, it even gets better. It's, I like things that get better with being used, getting older and, uh, and being faded by the light and all that. When you live with all these old things, for me, they still live. It's not like because they're old, they died. Their spirit is still very, very present. And that's why I'm not scared of dying. I think dying can become one of the most beautiful moments of your life. I think your ego might disappear, but I think that your spirit will not die. The more you get older, the more you learn, the more you can find a stronger concept of the value of living.